Um, thank you for coming back on this exciting episode of getting to my own countries. I mean, like I've been doing this for some time now where I interview people that lives in Ghana from another country that are permanently living in Ghana. So I have been seeing Ghana. I have been wanting you guys to see Ghana through their eyes. And today I have one of them in the building and her name is blue <laughs> so i'm going to allow her to introduce herself to you guys okay can we meet you madam you guys are already meeting me here now <laughs> <laughs> want to meet you beyond this well, can you take us home <laughs> okay and let's tell us about you <laughs> let's go home mm -hmm. hi universe my names are blue beatrice Achibong. i am a human being i'm a woman i am an african <laughs> Yes, they didn't know that. They didn't know that. They didn't oh, know. now they know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Blue Beatrice Achibong schooled here in Ghana. So upon graduation, she's supposed to go back home to Nigeria, which she did, and they did her service. And then, to my greatest surprise, she came back to Ghana. And that is what I want to know. So why did you come back to Ghana? No, tell us about you. Like you schooled in Ghana. No, but right? you said everything. No, no, no. <laughs> You said everything. No, no say it. <laughs> like you schooled here in Ghana. Tell us about your school and. Uh, uh yeah, I schooled here in Ghana, the eastern region of Ghana, Kofridia. I mean, it was a nice one. It was crazy and nice. I mean, but that was it basically. It was quite challenging at first. I mean, coming to a place where you don't really have friends, leaving your country, leaving your classmates back then, coming to a new place to school. It was crazy. But I, the luck I had all day, the best thing I had was my sister. My sister was already schooling here. So I, at least I had someone that I knew. Mm. So that was it for me. And she left me alone in Ghana. And I felt like lonely. Like, how do you mean she, how do you mean she left you alone in Ghana? No, like she, she graduated yes, from Yes, yes. So she was done and she had to go do her service. Oh, Charlie, I'm like, you know, I'm not used to staying alone. Okay. I, I have never stayed alone before. Okay. So she left me and I had to be alone in a very big house. I'm like, hey, go do <laughs> So as I stay in alone, started getting used to it. I was afraid at first staying in a big house, only you and mm. stuff. I was just there and I was very prayerful like mm -hmm. I hold my God very strong so the Holy Spirit was with me I was just there I started getting used to staying by myself because I know I was not alone again mm. physically I might look like I'm alone but mm. spiritually I am with a bunch of angels and yeah. other spiritual beings and stuff like that so I wasn't alone and I was just okay being by myself in that mm. I don't really like to be with physical people kind okay. of you understand I live alone yeah so that was basically so what really uh made me want you to come on this show today is the fact that upon graduation you went back to nigeria mm -hmm. and you did your national youth service in nigeria and then i was thinking okay the next thing i was waiting for is for you to come on youtube and they announce your job um okay. something placement or something okay. like for you to say oh i found a job or i got a house or i got married <laughs> in nigeria but no you didn't do that you came back to ghana that is what i'm interested in why did you come back to ghana well before i left ghana i i was already doing things in ghana i mean while i was in school i was a business minded or business oriented person okay not in ghana i started back then in nigeria so i brought my hustling spirit back to Ghana. Ghana yes so I was even while schooling I was also working I was working mm. and schooling intermittently and all of that so when I was done with school I went back to serve I came back and I realized that I have more audience in Ghana or most mm. of my classmates because some of them mm. are my clients and stuff mm. I'm like okay I know most people in Ghana than in Nigeria because in Nigeria I've been gone for so long and uh, most of my classmates they've they've moved out of the city i, I am in mm. and i don't really know anybody apart from my dad my siblings and just few people i don't know anybody so how do i start from telling people hi i do this i do that hey like it's crazy so i'm like okay let me go back to ghana since i have families there i have people there and i have like my audience base there let me just go back there so that was it basically okay audience you know that part that part i'm very interested <laughs> like is it like your youtube audience or your business oh, audience like YouTube tell us audience. about 
<laughs> no, you like tell us about other businesses that you do. Oh. Tell us about all the things you do, including your YouTube channel. Hey, Jali, I do a lot too. I am jack of all trade. Like I, I think that's what I call myself. Or let me not use jack of all trade. I'm a multipreneur. Okay. Yeah, I'm a multipreneur because one thing, staying in a foreign country where you you live by yourself, like take care of yourself and everything. I mean, you have to diversify your hustle or your whatsoever you are doing because if the other hustle is not paying, this one will pay. If this one is slow, this one will peak like that. So because of that, I had to start a clothing business of which I was doing low key, low key. But at a point, I had to bring it on like to people's faces that okay, this is what I'm doing because I was doing it on the low. I didn't want to disturb people like okay. that and stuff. But then you were saying earlier that um, you've been keeping the business on low. Yeah. Does that mean your classmates and your schoolmates in general didn't know about your clothing line? Well, it's not just my classmate though. I mean, I'm a model. Okay. So I have other models, friends and people. Yeah, you so. didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah, wow. Beatrice is a model. She's been in some many, like she's been in a couple of uh, music videos, like notable ones. Tell us about them. I know some of, you guys have seen me some of the music videos. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like sharing that part. Why? I don't, I don't, I see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel it's it's good to. Some people just say, me, "Ah, is this you? I saw you in this music. Is yeah. that you? Is that you?" I'm like, "Oh, that's me." Yeah, that come my face. Uh, uh, why are you shy about that? Like, oh I, I saw you on uh, this uh, Mr. Easy's. Uh, Batek. Yeah, and yeah. I like, I was, I was, you know, I, I was just looking. <laughs> I was looking to. I just want to see you. And okay. That, and I saw you. I was like, that's. That's Beatrice. <laughs> Tell us about your modeling career in Ghana. Tell us. Well, my modeling career ha was really a rough journey for me because I had to grow by myself. You know, mm. growing when you have someone holding your hands to grow mm. is faster yeah. than when you are the one pushing yourself, doing everything yourself. You are your manager, you are your everything. It was crazy. It took me a long time before I started getting whatever thing I want to get or mm. being wherever I want to be because I had to do everything by myself. And like I said, I started everything I'm doing in Kofridia, like in school. Wow. Yes, in school. I remember a time I had to leave class, mm. come to um, Accra to do one or two shoots. Like it was just crazy. Like leave Accra, come to leave Kofridia, come to Accra to do makeup also. Mm. I also do makeup at Okay, you're a makeup artist. Yes. Like that's my <laughs> when I tell you that I am a multi-brainer. Everything in one. <laughs> Yeah, so it was really, really crazy in terms of the modeling thing. Mm. But at the point, I have done a lot of free jobs already, like mm -hmm, free mm -hmm. photo shoot, free this, free that, free. I'm like, how am I going to pay my bills? Yeah. How am I going to survive? How am I going to chop? I go die, yo. <laughs> no, seriously. So I had to now start cutting some things if you want to do something with me. And mm. it's not really worth it. I was just like, I can't do it, or I'll get back to you, I'll just leave you there, because Charlie, I can't, I can't mm. be, I have to do, get outfit for myself, wow. do my makeup oh. myself, like I'm doing everything myself, so we mm. paid for, mm. and for free. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's why I start, I start cutting down the modeling store because if it's not worth it, I mean, but if some big company comes to me telling me that, oh, they don't do this thing with me, mm. but for free, but because of the, um, the push I'm going yeah, to get, the exposure, the exposure going I'm going to get. get, I'm like, okay, okay, this one's making sense. But there are some that come and be like, Charlie, mm -hmm. I need the money. But seriously, I need the money. I won't even lie or yeah, you pretend don't about it. Yeah, you don't I won't pretend it. about <laughs> it. I need the money because if I tell the, my landlord that, oh, please, I have exposure. Money. <laughs> he won't take exposure. <laughs> yeah, so I had to like minimize some of the modeling things I I was doing or I'm okay. doing just to like do other things yeah. I do so that it doesn't take my time and all that things. Yeah. Okay, but now it's it's a type pain. Don't, uh, don't tell I, me all no, the no, no, it's has it type pain now. It's pain, but not as much as I should. It should. You know, modeling in Africa is crazy. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. pain, but it's not pain. Mm. It's not pain me enough. Yeah. Like if you model in the US, UK, and mm. other countries, I mean, you are you are yeah. you are made. You understand? But in Africa, I mean, some of them are exploiting the models. But exactly. that's just a story for another day. I won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you are a model. You are a makeup artist. You are a YouTuber. Beatrice is a YouTuber, guys. I'm going to leave her channel in the comments section of the video. I realize it's easier for people to um, see whatever at the comment section than in the description. So I'm going to leave her channel there. Go check her out and Thank see. You. So, be 
<laughs> and uh, Beatrice, um, Beatrice is into a lot of things. I'm really proud of her for that. I'm, I'm humbled. Yeah, really proud of you. Thank so, you. Um, how is life in general in Ghana for you as a Nigerian? A young one and a woman at that. I know, right? <laughs> like, first of all, it's crazy. Like, I will not even be here to sugarcoat anything. It's really crazy. It's super crazy. I mean, living in a country where your biological parents are not here with you, your siblings are not here with you, your family they're not here with you you're just mm. here by yourself it's crazy like okay. it's super crazy but i to me it's kind of it's good for me okay you understand mm. because i've always wanted this independent freedom. Not, mm -hmm. not freedom like independent okay. woman kind of a thing i want to be able to do my things myself i okay. want to be able to like stand by myself mm. and everything yes no one chased me away from home i was one that like i told my dad okay i want to go back to ghana he was telling me that you don't have anybody there. Why are you going back? You're done with mm. school, blah, blah, blah. I told him I want to go back to Ghana. Like, I have my business there and stuff. And I explained things to him. He was very um, supportive and mm, un understanding. understanding. Yes. Yeah. You get Because being in Nigeria is cool. But then th the way things are going there, Charlie, Asemo. Mm -hmm. So he... He thought over the thing because you know most parents would be like don't go don't go but mm, when they mm. sit down and think they'll be like okay she's making sense yeah because i'm one person i used to be i used to be my dad's favorite okay always, yes like okay. his bestie like uh, hey no that is my siblings should not see this one it's not <laughs> <laughs> no but it's, i'm serious it's true i used to be my dad's favorite but ever since i moved like i've been away for so long mm. Other people yeah, have to the take. They have, yeah, yeah, they have to take a position. <laughs> Long distance relationship. Long distance has... relationship is crazy. I mean, okay. so that was it. you got to understand that this person, this is what she wants to do. This is this, and I told her about my women empowerment kind of a thing. Mm, and mm, mm, my dad, mm. I don't even remember that part. Okay, okay. don't worry. Yeah, we'll I got to tell her about all what I want to do in life. This is what I want to do. I want to be here so that I can be here. I want to do this. So, so that I can, you be, can, you can yeah, be able to, to do yeah, this. Yes. Yeah. So he was very understanding. Okay. Like at first, he didn't like the idea that I'm going to stay in a mm. foreign land I don't have, how am i going to pay my bills how am i going to do this how am i going to do that i tell you okay these are things i've put in place for mm, myself that can, that can help me you for. understand so that was it basically like it's been rough and crazy but i mean god always have a way of bringing the universe together to come true for you good, yeah, yeah exactly mm. yeah Okay, so it's been good, good for you in Ghana as a it's as been, a young Nigerian it's, girl. It's been good but rocky. It's been it's been rocky. Like it's not smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, it's, that it's, rockiness has got nothing to do with you being a Nigerian. Uh, from what you are saying. Well, not really. I like out of out of hundred percent, maybe like some twenty percent. Yeah, some twenty percent here in, okay. in there. Now, okay, in your modeling career, have you by have you ever been affected, uh, rejected for being a Nigerian? Hmm, rejected for being Nigerian. Not really. I mean, I think my agency is one of the best, kind of. Okay. I don't know if I should say that. Mm. Yeah. You know, Nigerian or Nigerian. Okay. Nigerians, we are kind of. Mm. We. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know if I should say this. Like, we know what we are about. I'm not saying any, any national do not mm. know what they are about. But we, 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 there's a way we just carry ourselves. There's a way we do things. You understand? And I'm this person when I'm going for a modeling gig or whatever. I don't go there to associate or like mm. play around with everybody. I just go. I'm just treat like. I might look playful, but then I am very strict too. <laughs> okay, so there's a way I carry things myself. are supposed to be done no, for yes. you to be taken seriously. Yes, there's a way I carry myself when I'm out there. I carry myself in a certain way. Mm. So my my boss, he cannot respect me for that. Like, mm. he respects me. Even some jobs, before he calls me for that job, he must have known that this one, uh, it mm. will be best. It's worth your time. It's worth my worth time. He will not yeah. just call me for any shabba shabba thing. He knows ah. that blue... <laughs> Because he knows I have other things doing. So mm. you're not just coming for some shabba 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 thing. And he knows me. Me, I'm very articulated. Okay, this is it. This is how I want it to mm. be. This is this is that. And he knows how to go along with me. Even though we're fighting always. So I don't think I've ever been rejected or been kind of mm. because You've a never Nigerian. Been treated in a certain no, way for no, being a Nigerian. No. As a model, no. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. Okay. So how is life in Ghana for you right now? How are you? Hmm. Do you miss home? I do. I mean, I connect with my family literally every day, but I miss home. You understand? There's different when you are with somebody mm, physically, you mm, could feel the person mm. than just seeing the person on a video call. Hello, how are you? Fine. You connect, but then it's not like flesh and blood like will hold you, I can yeah. hug you and stuff. And sometimes it's not about anything, it's about just you seeing the people and you are satisfied, you are okay. I mean, just do small, small things, and that's it, basically. Okay. Yeah. But 
you enjoying your stay in Ghana? I mean, why not? I Do am. You, are you uh, are you in Ghana for good? I think. Well, until Jesus says otherwise, I'm here for the meantime, for the interim. That is what I'll say. For the okay. interim, I'm still trying to find myself okay. because that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to do a discovery of myself. Mm. I'm asking God, is this what you want me to do? Is this where you want me to be? Mm. Or is this what do you have for me? Like, what is it? But I feel there's something in store in this land for me. Okay. But I'm just here for the interim. I'm okay. still waiting to hear the final thing from mm. God. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, is there any? <laughs> Are you in a relationship? I don't ask hey, you. Oh, no. I don't to know. You're young. You're beautiful. You are. Am I really young? You're and beautiful? young, beautiful. <laughs> you're intelligent. Oh. Yeah, you're smart. So maybe someone seeing this video will be like, Lily, ask her. Is she young? I mean, she, it's not she's not asking that question. Lily, ask her. Is she single and ready oh. to mingle? Oh my god. So are you single and ready to mingle? Okay, fine. Are you single? Ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I am. I am not single. Wait. Let me explain that. Calm down before you come for me. I know they are coming to choke my neck. I am not single in the sense that mm -hmm. I am in a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Okay. <laughs> yes. But physically, okay. I'm single. But spiritually, I'm not single. Like, like I told you, I living alone was crazy for me. But okay. ever since I started having those people around mm -hmm. me, I don't feel like I'm alone. I don't feel lonely. You understand? So. I, Spiritually, I'm not lonely. But so you have invisible being. Are you you're yes, in a relationship yes. with? Okay. Like they are my people. So like <laughs> are they here right now? So I can. <laughs> so I want to know. I have to be nice to you, okay? My so angels on guard are always here. They're okay. always here. Angels on guard are always here. Okay. Two four seven. <laughs> All right. So um, let's get back to reality. Okay, reality. Um, I sorry. I think you are one of those Nigerians that have been highly favored by Ni by Ghanaians. Aww. I don't know why I feel like that. Maybe really? you can correct it. Okay. Yeah, but looking at you from YouTube here, mm -hmm. I feel like you are one of those Nigerians that a lot of Ghanaians really love. Really? Um, do you feel that? Do you know that? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know, but I feel, I, feel, I feel some kind of love from Ghana. Like, I feel the love. You understand? Mm. I feel the love. But I don't know. Maybe... I, are people coming to tell you they love me from your channel? No, 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 no. From the way, um, okay, everything about you is being perceived here, okay, is okay. being done. Anything that concerns blue beaches, uh, is kind of different from really, you know, the regular Nigerian girl who is new to Ghana mm -hmm. or who is, you know. So, um, I, I don't know if you know that for me. I, I, I know that for you. Well, I don't know that for me. I'm just right? hearing it. You don't know. I don't know that. But okay. I just know that I am blessed. I think that's what I'll call it. I feel, okay. I feel Ghana have it in on me like mm, some mm, people, mm, not mm. everybody. Everybody cannot love you. I'm not yeah, God. Of course. Are you, you God? Not everybody Are love you God. money? And I sure. Are you I'm money? not money. Oh. <laughs> so how can everybody love me? <laughs> Even if everybody start loving me now, be afraid because yeah, hey, what Charlie, is it? adding. Uh -uh. What is it? <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, it's like you speak a bit of Tui, right? Kakra kakra why? Right? No no. But you've been speaking a lot, like in your videos. I used mm, to watch your videos. Really? So, like, I watch your channel. So I see that you speak Tui from time to time. I'm not fluent, but then I understand. You like, do, yeah, right? I do. Okay. I do. From the time of your school days to now, how long have you been in Ghana? All together, I think I've been here for like um, eleven. Um, I think about um, if not twelve thousand days now, which is about nine, no, eight years. Yeah, twelve. Mm. I think about twelve thousand two hundred days can give you eight years in Ghana. I don't know if the calculation is wow. Right. You you've been around for yeah, been some time. For you've been days. been around for some time so what is that thing that you love the most about ghana ah, i love the way some ghanaians love foreigners i mean i'm talking about those open-minded ghanaians not the one that are so myopic and mm -mm. always discriminating people because of their nationality and stuff mm. i mean there are some that are very nice i'm like wow that's great like they are down to earth they are very nice and i think there are those uh, Ghanaians outside the country yeah yeah yeah. yeah those yeah. people well traveled hey. <laughs> you know when you are outside when you've come outside your your box yeah you you are not you see life differently yeah the way you see life you are, you are more I don't know how to say it like mm. those guys i feel they are more open-minded than the regular 
people you understand so i love the way those people kind of see things they're quite matured i think some of my audience are also matured yeah mm. yeah they're matured mm. okay. and also i love the i love the people like i have family i have a Ghanaian family here yeah and they love me so much like they love me okay you have like a Ghanaian family oh you have yes, like a Ghanaian parents i do, parents I, do. Yeah. Okay. I have a Ghanaian parents nice. yeah they love me so much nice. and i love them too mm. yeah and i love the food you love the Ghanaian food. I love Which the Ghanaian. Them? I love Banco and Aben coin. Ah, ah, really? That's the pan nut soup. Yes. Ah. Uh, mm. Are you serious? <laughs> I know you were young then, but when you came, I'm still young. Go, oh, uh, yeah, 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 we know, right? <laughs> what was that cultural shock for you as a Nigerian coming to Ghana for the very first time? Okay, first of all, I, I, the light thing, the light was the thing for me. The light, there was light to the next day. I'm like, ah. What's up? Mm. I, I told my sister, my sister was already used to the light. I'm like, mm. ah, what's up? Won't they take your lights? Mm. Like, I was not thinking, like, what's up? What is hey, going is on like... here? And there was light 247. I'm like, hey, her phone can be one percent. She's still using it. She's hey, not afraid she's that. Not charging it. I'm like, wow, okay, this is good. It took me a while for me to be used to the fact that there's light 247. Mm. You get coming from um coming from where I am, mm. like it's crazy. There's light though, but it's not as I steady. It's, like, it's not as steady as it here. is here. So that one was really a cautious shock for me and also the way people add place to every given thing they are doing they are helping with something please they are calling your name oh please blue blue uh, please hey people are sure me patch this me patch that ah, god i'm like ah. <laughs> this thing had a way to influence me seriously me patch me patch 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 hey so i don't know you were surprised i like... was i was like ah you guys are too polite i mean mm. it's good to be polite but it's mm. too much you understand it made me in a, in a way so I started started saying, guilty no not guilty in okay, a way i started saying in a way i started saying please oh uh, I mean, <laughs> right now eh, i can't just say something i cannot just give you this thing and say take like please that, that, hello please. please do this please mm -hmm. if i call my dispatch right there are you coming please this thing please ah charlie <laughs> please good money no beg everything they are begging you for it please do this please this please. i think it's a good thing i mean yeah because there are some certain things someone might not want to do for you but when you add the police it kind of mm, softens mm, the person's mm. mind the person will just consider yeah. doing it for you or something but when you just say give me that do like this if yeah you, if it you feels come, like an order yes an order you're commanding a the person command to, a command give me this oh take do like this do like that so i feel it's a good one but some of them use it too much and i think got to influence me in a way i don't know if mm. that's called that a negative influence or a positive influence that's a positive one right there okay it's, um, who am i to judge <laughs> guys let me know if that's who am i to judge <laughs> let's hear you down in the comment section okay like um what <clears throat> tell us about your youtube channel what do you do there Ah, my YouTube channel, I do a lot. I okay. do a lot. So basically my YouTube channel, I think let me start from the highest to like the I do real estate there. Okay. okay. I do I introduced the real estate um this year. Mm, I do real estate okay. there. Yes. And I also do um I share my experience in Ghana, other people's experiences there. Mm, okay. Yeah, and also I travel, chill and I mean I live. And also I do my girl child. I'm trying to incorporate the girl child thing there, women empowerment thing okay. there. Yeah. Because that's my core value, the women I think, empowerment. I think we need to talk about it because you are into girl empowerment. Um, tell us a little about it. I'll just say a little like you said because mm. it's something I'm still cooking. and. Okay, I okay. <laughs> So it's more, it's, it's, it's something very big. Mm. When, when the visual came, it was like, ah, can I really do this? Like, because it's big. It it's really big, seriously. That's why it has taken me a long time for me to really bring it to life. Like the mm. actual thing. Though it's, it's coming in bit by bit, cra, 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 cra. Mm. But then it's something that is... You're it's cooking. It, You're working on it. Yeah, I'm, work, I'm working on it. So, first of all, it's for girl, child, and women. You okay. understand? These two people, I think I need both of them. Okay. I can't say I need the girl, child only without, without leaving the, yeah, the woman. Okay. Yeah, because from the girl, child, you become a woman. Yes. You understand? Yes, yes. So, you need to groom them into becoming the woman. The woman. Yes. 